In this tutorial, I will explain how these two buttons work. These last two buttons here at the right upper side. You will see that they are now gray. And they are gray because I have here in the views selected the full repertory. And you will see here the rubric Mind Abrupt has 44 remedies, from which one has been corrected. So if I go back here, if I limit my repertory view to, for example, the Millennium View, you will see that there are now 30 remedies left in this uh, rubric, and that there are 14 remedies which fall out of this view. So 14 remedies are excluded from this rubric. And if a remedy is included or excluded, is related to the author or source reference which is connected to this remedy. To see here the source reference or author reference, you click on this icon. And you will see here all the abbreviations of the authors. So, for example, here, if I double-click on MRR1, I will see that this is coming from Roger Morrison from his desktop guide in Keynotes. Okay, let me turn off here the authors or source references, and you will see in the Millennium View, which is a quite liberal view, so it contains still uh, new remedies, new proven remedies. And if I go here, for example, to the quantum view, I have a more conservative view of the repertory. And you will see that there are 22 remedies left in this rubric. And by chance, also 22 remedies fall out of this view. If I go with my mouse over these 22 and then move to this tooltip box, then this tooltip box with these remedies stay open. If I move my mouse away, then you will see after a few seconds this uh, box closes again. Now, this button here at the right, if I click on it, so if I turn it off again, then you will see that this number of the remedies which fall out of this rubric, which are excluded from this rubric in the quantum view, that number is now gone. If I click on this button to activate it again, then you will see you, that after a plus, you will see the number of remedies which fall out of that view. The same here, for example, with the rubric rough yet affectionate. There are four remedies remaining in this view, and there are two remedies which fall out of this view. Here, Nux Formica and Podo Vilo. So, the one button here is clear. It shows you the number of remedies which fall out of a view. And of course, when you have the full synthesis, this disappears because then all remedies coming from all authors or source references are included. Now, now to show the function of this button, let me make it more clear. I go back here, for example, to the Kent's repertory. So Kent repertory revised, which is almost identical to the original Kent. Now you will see here that abrupt only remains four remedies, from which one still is a correction. And there are 40 remedies which fall out of this view. Now if I go down here to this rubric, rough yet affectionate, you will see that there are no remedies left anymore in this rubric. So in fact, it's an empty rubric. And there are six remedies which are excluded from this view. Same here with harsh and in children. All these three rubrics are completely empty. No remedies are left anymore in the original Kent. So it means these rubrics were not present in the original Kent repertory. Now, such rubrics which are empty, which do not contain any remedy anymore, uh, you can still see them or you can hide them. And this is the function of this second button. It's now turned on, so I see the rubrics which do not contain anymore any remedy. If I click on it, you will see 
that these rubrics, let me see here, you have here abrupt, and these other rubrics are now completely hidden from my repertory view. So I think it's now clear, and I personally work most often in the Millennium View or Quantum View. Quantum View is quite conservative. Millennium View also contains new remedies, but which are still based on provings, more the uh, traditional provings. And if you go to the full repertory, you also include material coming from more theoretical information, for example, Jan Scholten and other such uh, methods. And the full repertory also contains, for example, dream and meditation provings, etc. So again, I personally work most often with the Millennium View or Quantum View. Quantum View is quite similar to the Essential Synthesis. And I personally prefer to have both these buttons, both these functions on, so that I will always see all rubrics in my repertory, even if they are excluded from the repertory, so even if they do not contain any remedy anymore. So here you see these uh, rubrics, they are all zero, so they do not contain any remedy anymore, meaning they were not present in the original Kent. And here, the second button I also like to have uh, pressed in because it will allow me to always see quickly which remedies are excluded from that view.